Hello and welcome to CVTV. I'm your host Jeremy and today we're going to be going over the installation and operation of the Regal SSS skimmers. So unbox your skimmer and let's get to assembly. Okay, after unboxing the skimmer, uh, inspect to make sure all the components of the skimmer are accounted for and nothing is broken. Let's first start by installing the pump inside the skimmer. Loosen the four set screws along the base of the skimmer. Rotate slightly to lift off. What we'll do is we'll take the base off of the RODC pump by sliding backwards, like so. And we're going to install the mounting screw to the skimmer base. You will need a flathead screwdriver to finish the installation of the screw. Be sure not to over tighten. It is a nylon screw and will break. And just slip the pump right back on the base. Be sure that the power cord is on the side with the slit on the base. And we'll install the bubble chamber. Move the lid. Install like so. Again, just firm enough to hold it in place. And you have a spacer on the bubble plate. Make sure the bevel end is downwards and you'll have a little notch to where the bubble plate actually will rest on the unit for positioning. Just thread that in there. Okay, then we'll insert the base. Make sure that the hole is where the intake of the pump is. Rotate. Just lock down the three set screws. Installing the Venturi is very simple. Just slide it into the hole and it will insert inside of the intake of the pump, like so. Okay, installing the output flow valve is fairly simple. Just take the flow valve, insert it into the output, and with the short end with the hole, insert into the output end of the valve, and it's directional so you can go with whatever area of the flow you want it to exit out of. To install the air silencer, grab its bracket with nylon screw, locate the threaded hole in the side of the collar, take your flathead screwdriver and just screw it on in. Make sure you don't over tighten, you just want it so it's a little firm. Take the silencer, it's only going to have one black cap. If the noise is not a big deal. You're always going to get better performance with both inlets open. Search your surgical hose. Like so. All right, for the collection cup, simply inserts into the top. It's an O-ring seal for easy removal and long life of the o-ring i suggest using an o-ring lubricant usually silicone 100 percent you can get at most hardware stores along the side you'll notice there's a drain line you can insert the little angle adapter to get it over most sumps or you can directly put your drain line right up to the nipple itself or you could choose to use it the old way and just insert the nipple and 
run it while the collection cup fills up. Simply remove, just push up on one end and lift upward. All right, there's several components to the DC pump itself. You have the controller, the power adapter, and the power adapter's power plug. Power adapter's power plug just inserts into the joining outlet. This portion matches that. And then the sealed fitting simply rotates slips in there, and then the locking nut. All right, now that we have the skimmer assembled, let's go ahead and go over installing the skimmer in the sump. To do so, take the skimmer cup off of the skimmer body, place the skimmer body into seven to nine inches of water. If the water exceeds nine inches, please Prop up the skimmer using a skimmer stand uh, or create one out of PVC or egg crate material to prop the skimmer up to the proper water level. Once the skimmer is within seven to nine inches, go ahead and place the skimmer cup onto the skimmer body and we'll move ahead and install the controller. Okay, with the controller, please mount it outside of the skimmer stand and away from any sump or aquarium. The controller itself is not waterproof and it should not be submitted to high humidity levels. Please mount it on a firm surface using the four slots that you can easily insert screws to mount into uh, any wall or surface. Allow four to three inches of space all the way around the controller to dissipate the heat. Once the skimmer is fully installed and the controller is mounted, go ahead and plug in the controller and allow the skimmer to run. For the first three to four weeks, we do recommend to have the output valve open. That means that the water level within the skimmer will be much lower than normal operation. And we suggest this because during the first three to four weeks, oils from manufacturing and handling do cause the skimmer head to create and crash, making it very inconsistent and unreliable at any state or range of control. You can have the operation of the controller set to a higher parameter, but please do have the valve in the open position to allow the water to fluctuate while it breaks in. Once you do reach the breaking point of three to four weeks, you can go ahead and begin to close the valve to the water level that you desire to get the collection that you would like to obtain. You can have two control points with this brand skimmer. You have the controller itself with five control points which regulate the air and water intake of the skimmer itself as well as the normal control of the output valve which decreases and increases the water level within the skimmer itself. Thank you for watching. If you have any issues, please head on over to coralview.com forward slash support. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave your comments below. See you next week.